If you've ever lost an audio file in Pro Tools, it's probably due to disk allocation. So hopefully we can, uh, I'll show you the process of this. So let's go to Pro Tools and create a new session. Uh, we'll name it Demo Session, uh, I guess if I could type. And there we go. All right, we're gonna make sure it's not collab. Uh, we're gonna check our settings. Wave 24-bit 44.1 and prompt for location. And we'll go ahead and click Create. I'm gonna create it to the desktop. While it's not recommended, I'm just doing this to make it easy. Uh, so we'll select the desktop and hit Save. Uh, all right, so here we are. Let's go uh, we'll make this a little bigger so we have room to work. Uh, and then let's go uh, grab the folder. We'll move it up so we have a little more room or we can kind of locate it a little easier. Uh, all right, so disk allocation. Go to Setup and go to Disk Allocation. This is where you're going to check to make sure that each track is saving to the correct place. Now, this is going to be blank because we don't have any tracks yet. So we just opened it to show you. So let's hit OK and let's create five new audio tracks. Uh, I use Apple's Shift N. That's the shortcut. You can go to the track menu and hit new. It's just a little easier that way. Uh, OK. So we're going to go to disk allocation and we're going to show you uh, here are five tracks right there. And this is where they're saving. They're saving to the desktop and to the session root folder, which is uh, demo sessions. So that's correct. We're going to change audio 2 to a different allocation. That's going to the external drive now, uh, just so you can see the difference. Uh, it, it's a great flexible feature. You, you know, each track can save to a different location if you want it to. Uh, but, you know, if you open that up and, and see that, it's probably incorrect. So we're going to go in, we're going to look, and if you see this, this is probably wrong for your session, unless you have it set that way. Uh, we're going to need to change it back. Uh, but we want to just get all of them. Uh, you know, if you if you try to do one at a time, you may have 30 or 40. You're scrolling down in the list. You may miss one. Hold Option. That's Apply to All. And then we're going to click on All. And we're going to select Folder. We're going to go find our root, which we said was on the desktop. Uh, so we'll select that. And that's our root folder. We don't want to go into the folder. This is the root. So we don't want to go in and click Audio Files and, and hit OK or Open. We want the root folder. Pro Tools can sort out what's an audio file and a fade file and a video. We want the actual root folder. So we give it the root and it can sort the files from there. So we'll hit open and we'll just double check it one more time. Desktop and demo sessions and that is all the correct routing and hit OK. Uh, all right, we're going to pick on audio 2 here. We're going to change the input to analog 1 and record a short audio clip. And there we go. We'll zoom in just a little. We'll double click on it. And we'll just uh, rename it something simple like Audio 2. Okay, so we have one file. Uh, we're going to go to our session folder and audio files. There is Audio 2. That's what we just recorded. So it's there. Good. We have our file. It opens. We're not losing anything. Uh, okay, go back to Pro Tools. Let's save it. And then we will close our session. Let's say we uh, come back the next day. And uh, we have bought a brand new hard drive and it matches all the specs from Digi or, or Avid and we want to put all our Pro Tools files on this new hard drive instead of recording to the desktop. So I had an old one there. I'll just need to delete that. And we're going to take this session from the desktop and we're going to drag it over, copy it to our new hard drive. Uh, we got the little green plus. We're good. This is an old copy now. Uh, just so you can see, it copied everything. It's the exact same. Uh, but we've done this outside of Pro Tools, keep in mind. So we'll put this over here. This is kind of our old session. We're going to work on the new session, which is our new copy on our external drive. Uh, so we're going to open it up. And what we should do is we should check disk allocation because we've transferred a folder, but we didn't. So we're going to record an audio clip, and it should be a missing file at the end of this process. All right, so we have a new clip, and we're going to rename that one. Let's rename it uh, hard, New Drive, I guess, uh, New Hard Drive. Uh, and so this is to show that we have recorded to our new hard drive. So we're going to save that, and we're going to close that. We've, we've worked on that, and we're happy with it. Uh, so 
let's say we've worked on it a few weeks and we like it. We've recorded into it a couple of different times on our new drive. So we're going to go to our, our old session. This is basically a backup, but it's an outdated backup. We don't really need it anymore because we have our new copy on our external drive. So we're going to delete it. You know, we just don't need it. Uh, so it's gone and we're going to empty the trash and it is deleted. Now we're going to go back to our session on our new hard drive. And when we open it, it's going to have a missing file. Uh, we transferred it outside of Pro Tools. Here we go. Yep, missing files. All right, so what happened? We did not check our disk allocation. And we're just going to skip this error. Anytime you move or transfer files, you should go back and check your disk allocation. But because we didn't and we recorded into it, the old session's gone and it's not there. So disk allocation, we see that it's saved to the old file on the desktop. 1, 3, 4, and 5 are good, but audio 2 saved to our old session. And after we deleted it, we emptied the trash. That session's not there anymore. So that's why we always want to check our disk allocation. It's gone. We can never get this file back. But we'll correct it now. So we go to disk allocation. We want to apply to all. So we hold option and we click. And we're going to find the root folder again. We're going to go to our external drive and we're going to click on our session. That's our root, not the audio files folder. We don't want to go into that folder. So just the demo session. We check our routing, project drive one, external, and demo session, and we should be good. So we're going to go back and record a new audio file. Okay, so let's rename this one uh, allocation, I guess, audio to allocation. Uh, Anything we record from now on is going to be there as we open and close the session, as we save it. Uh, you know, if we ever transfer it, though, we need to make sure we recheck the disk allocation to make sure Pro Tools sees where the new transferred file is. So we're going to save that. We're going to close it. And now uh, we're going to check our audio files folder. So we'll go to external drive. What we should see is two files in our audio file folder. We have the audio 2 and audio 2 allocation. Uh, we should have three because we recorded three, but we didn't do disk allocation correctly. So audio two is from the original session copied over. We're missing a file for audio to new hard drive that we had in the old session. And then we have uh, our audio to allocation file, which is the third file that we recorded after we fixed our allocation. So that's what to watch for on disk allocation.